Good evening. Traffic has been disrupted in the Cape Town CBD due to protests by taxi drivers. The entrance to the station deck was blocked, resulting in road closures in the, in the area. Authorities allegedly fired stun grenades in order to control the situation. The city's mayoral committee member for safety and security, J.P. Smith, uh, is now joining us via uh, our Zoom link, and he'll give us a bit more info in terms of what is taking place uh, in the city of Cape Town. Uh, J.P., thank Thank you so much uh, for joining us here uh, on uh, the late edition. Of course, we've seen just now in the evening that there have been clashes between uh, taxi drivers and police officials. Uh, yes, this morning uh, we did enforcement operations around the uh, Cape Town station deck. Uh, these operations move from area to area. Uh, in different parts of the city, and today was the uh, time for the station deck. During those operations, uh, some of the taxi drivers uh, refused to have their vehicles impounded, as is permitted by the uh, National Land Transportation Act, and assaulted one of the traffic officers. Uh, the uh, other taxi drivers then blockaded the station deck, some parked vehicles and walked away from it. Others remained in their vehicles. The uh, South African Police Public Order Police arrived. Uh, the, and as the situation escalated during the afternoon, some then discharged, uh, they discharged stun grenades. Um, and uh, live rounds, four live rounds were shot at the police by some of the uh, taxi drivers. Uh, and it appeared that the taxi drivers were uh, sh uh, the uh, shooters we're taking uh, shelter within a particular taxi with tinted windows. Oh. Unfortunately. Officers at them to come. So we gain access to that vehicle. Mm. And uh, JP, maybe just give us a bit more information here. Of course, uh, you were saying that uh, this is usually done uh, by the city of Cape Town. What was the reasoning here uh, for impounding uh, these taxis and how many taxis were actually impounded uh, by officials in the city of Cape Town? Earlier today, 15 taxis. And then once the uh, uh, taxis blockaded the road, we started towing additional vehicles that they used for the blockade as they both are those are violations of the Act. The National Land Transportation Act uh, provides for vehicles that operate contrary to the condition of their operating licenses to be impounded. So whereas we issue fines for many driving behaviors, there are certain actions by public transport operators that we no longer just fine for. If you drive on a sidewalk, you drive against an oncoming traffic lane, you ignore a traffic light, you put the lives of commuters in your vehicle and the lives of other road users at risk, um, we no longer fine for that. We impound the vehicle as the act uh, permits. And uh, that has been happening consistently now for more than a year. Mm. Uh, and uh, today we impounded 15 vehicles around the station deck as part of that exercise uh, this also includes vehicles operating without operating licenses in that if you do not take effective action against it, it leads to rogue taxis causing other taxi associations to react violently. So it is quite important that we act without fear or favor yeah. to consistently ensure that only lawful operators are on a route. Yeah. And uh, JP, uh, you also said that, uh, you know, uh, there were live rounds here uh, that were fired allegedly by uh, some of uh, the taxi drivers. Do you know if uh, you know anybody has been arrested for that so in the video footage that's going around you will see uh, the situation getting a little bit out of control and that uh, the uh, uh, a particular taxi becomes the focus of attention it appeared to the staff on scene and i've corroborated this with two staff members and a journalist who was on scene that uh, the shooter um, on the shooting emanated from uh, that vehicle. They then attempt to get the occupants of the vehicle out and when they refuse to open, uh, the officer proceeds to smash the window to gain access and as the window yields, the sliding door opens on the other side and the, um, the footage then shows the occupants of the vehicle being arrested. Mm. At the same time, uh, that actual footage, a number of people are actually complaining about uh, the force in which was used uh, by police uh, uh, officials. Uh, one would ask, was that necessary uh, to handle taxi drivers in that manner? I think that uh, happens when you don't see the context of the rest of the footage. When you see an excerpt of 20 seconds out of a uh, 
a period of four, six hours of conflict, and you do not see what preceded the incident seconds before. It is possible to interpret out of context, but within context, must understand that um, live rounds are being shot at officers and that your officers are under assault, that there is a situation of, of, of um, significant instability where the police have now discharged tear gas and rubber rounds. Uh, and in that context, there are certain instigators leading that violence, causing this public uh, chaos, and uh, that these police are attempting to effect All arrest. Right. The breaking of the window is in direct response to the attempt to recover a firearm. All right, J.P. Smith, thank you so much for your time. Uh, that is uh, J.P. Smith. He is the MMC for safety and security uh, in the city of Johannesburg, uh, Cape Town.